Hello, welcome to Chem with Chem. In this session, we will work question four of chemistry paper two from the January 2019 sitting. If this is your first time to the channel, please check out all the other materials that are here, like if you find value, and be sure to consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you won't miss whenever new content is added. Let's dive right in. No, this question is very special because this question spans all of four topics. How did they do it? How did they, how did they get four topics in one question? So preparation is key. All right, let's get into it. Can you state the four topics that you see here? If you can spot them, just put them in the, um, in the comments. Say what you think the topics are. So let's get right into it. Uh, we want to go as fast as well as quickly as possible without compromising quality. So let's go. All right, so for A, define each of the following terms. So part one, the first one, atomic number. Atomic number refers to the number of protons in an atom of an element. Mass number, this refers to the sum of the protons and neutrons in an atom of an element. Part B, sodium is a metal with an atomic number of 11 and the mass number of 23. Part one, draw a diagram to show the arrangement of electrons in a sodium atom. All right, so it's very important they've given the mass number. So it means that we're going to use that to figure out the, or to determine the, the proton number. So we will need to state 11 P's in the center, 11 P's. 12 N, that's 12 neutrons, that's so we'll get, that's so we will get 23. Let's make that clear. Then I'm gonna put a little circle to show that that's the nucleus. And we're going to be putting our 11 electrons. Two on the first shell. Eight on the second shell, eight plus two, 10. The 11th one on the third shell, two, eight, one. Part two of B, state the period to which the element sodium belongs in the periodic table. So we just mentioned two, eight, one. So that means we have three electron shells. So it means it would be in period three. Describe the type of bonding in sodium metal. So it's sodium metal. So they're talking about um, metallic bonding. So we're going to just get straight to the point. We would have sodium ions, also known as cations. They're positive ions or they're positively charged cations. And so these cations or these sodium ions are embedded. Keyword there, embedded. Some students will say stuck. They're embedded in what is called a C of mobile, or you could say delocalized electrons. Students said that word last year and I got very excited. So that would give us full marks. Part C, sodium chloride is a typical salt of sodium metal. A concentrated sodium chloride solution, brine, can undergo electrolysis when it is used as, when it is used as an electrolyte in an electrolytic cell using inert electrodes. Part one, 
define the term electrolysis, right? Whenever it comes to defining terms, I love to look to see what the, what the words are coming from. If you look at the word electrolysis, you should be seeing two words, electro and lysis. Electro coming from, coming from electricity and lysis, for those who do buy it, you would have seen lysis several times. Lysis means to split. So it's pretty much using electricity to split something. So let's um, lotion that up. So we'll say it's the decomposition of an electrolyte by the passage of an electric current through it. So let's get that done. two marks. Part two, write the half equations including state symbols for the reaction that occurs at the anode and cathode during the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution. That's brine. You guys would have come across um, brine already. Tuna in brine, mackerel in brine. So whenever you see brine, it's concentrated sodium chloride solution. All right, anode. So the ions that we have are definitely Na plus aqueous. Would also have Cl minus aqueous. Would have H plus from the water. Would also have OH minus from the water. Now, generally, uh, OH minus ions would be liberated. Well, we, we know that the chloride and the OH minus ions would, would, would migrate to the anode. So to be on the safe side, I normally put the the sign beside the electrode, so I know exactly what ions should go over to that electrode. So the chloride and the hydroxide would migrate to the anode, but because we're talking about concentrated sodium chloride, it means that we have a larger, a relatively larger amount of chloride ions than OH minus ions. So in this case, instead of the OH minus ions being liberated or being given the nod, to be set free, the chloride ions would, would be given the nod. So chloride would actually win in this case, and that would give us two Cl minus aqueous, liberating or giving chloride, Cl2 gas, plus two moles of electrons. And um, over the other side, even though we have a higher, relatively higher amount of Na plus, um, we had said in previous session that breaking up is hard to do. So the sodium would not be liberated um, preferentially to its counterpart, the hydrogen, the H plus ions. It still takes too much energy to actually pull apart or break up the, 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 Na, the Na plus ions from the chloride ions. So in this case, the H plus would be given the Sodium is higher in the reactivity series. So in this case, it would require too much energy to actually break, break apart the ions. So sodium ions would be liberated. So in this case, the H plus would be given the nod. So please note how we write um, reduction plus electrons. And we're gonna put the hydrogen gas. And when we write um, oxidation, we have the species being oxidized, then the arrow. So we must end up with, when we put the two equations together, we must end up with electrons on the right-hand side and electrons on the left-hand side. And that's, that's how we actually cancel them. We're not going to cancel them out right now. All right? So this would um, give us full marks and Nothing else is asked here. So that is it. We just need to give these um, half equations, state symbols, ensure that they're balanced and we're good to go. And just like that, you would have, just like that, you got 50 marks. So please um, leave your comments. What four topics were covered in this question? Write them. Let's see um, how sharp you are, how much you're um, spotting your questions. You're studying chemistry, but we have to break it down in modules and in topics, then in subtopics. Let's see if you can spot the topics that were covered in this one question.
Thank you for joining Kim with Kim. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and also clicking that bell so you will not be so you'll not miss out when new content is added. You'll be notified. So couple later.